All right, so one little part I want to show you right here is because of the way my trailer is built, is that my gusset actually has to sit on my floor. And the way I figured that out was I cut my gusset originally straight across there at the end, um, at the bottom there, without that notch, and it wouldn't fit. I had the same problem on my other trailer. Uh, not really a problem, just a little fitting that you have to do there. The way I did that was I took the gusset after I cut it and I put it on the outside of the trailer. And I looked at that notch there and I figured out well that notch is just basically notching out for the floor. So I drew me a line about where my floor hit um, both horizontally, the line you see there, and vertically. And I notched it out. Alright, so here I've got the gusset all cut off and I'm going to show you what I did here. Uh, basically I remember you remember before how I cut, cut out the gusset at the bottom to notch out to fit on top of the floorboard? Then at the top here, I cut the gusset so that there was a little bit of a gap uh, in between the gusset and the back wall here. Doesn't really matter. Don't make it over, say, a quarter of an inch because that's going to be, you're, you're going to need that. Um, but as far as um, how it lines up, just as long as it doesn't touch, because if it's touching, then it's jamming. If it's jamming, it's not going to close straight. So we cut that, and the, the way we know that that is cut straight is that the, you want the outside of this gusset to meet with the outside of the profile of a framing. So that's the same as this piece, this piece, and this piece. So what I did was I pushed the gusset up so that this was flush across the top, and then I trimmed this off. The next part, or the next step, is going to be to take the gusset and attach the gusset to the spacer top seal piece that we cut. So the way I do that is I'm going to take the top seal piece. The top seal piece should have about a quarter inch gap in it all the way down. Now the important part of this whole thing is that while you're aligning these pieces uh, the gaps and the spaces and the things that we look at have to be in relation to that piece being in the proper location. That proper location for all of these parts is going to be so that the um, outside profile matches. What I'm indexing that off of is this top notch you'll see right here. If I can focus, yeah. You'll see I'm indexing off of the top of the, um, the seal piece that I cut because I know that's true to the profile of my trailer before the skin's put on it. So I want to pull up my gusset to where it meets that. And then I've actually already drawn a line here. You can see that little line right there. And it's going to probably take you an extra hand to do this. But if you have that line right there, I've got to pull that up. All right, hold it right there. All right, and then we'll take this piece and line it up right there and the way I came up with that as you can see there we've got about a quarter of an inch gap in between the seal and the, the top seal and the bottom seal. Now if you can hand me that spring clamp right there. My dad's here helping me giving me a second hand. We're going to align and clamp that all down. Okay, and that right there is about where it needs to be. Now, you can see there, things will start to make sense now. Um, when this is all finished, what we'll have is there'll be a piece of rubber seal that's attached to this. We're going to reattach our other end wall piece here, and this is going to form our entire hatch. But you can see that quarter inch gap all the way down is where our rubber seal is going to sit, and that's where our um, that's what's going to make things not leak, basically. So, what we want to do at this point is we want to align this here. We also want to align it at the bottom. If we have any extra at this point, we'll be able to sand that off. Um, but basically what we want to do is have it so that our gap here is about a quarter of an inch. And you can see I am not too good at there at trimming that. I've got a few bumps in it, but it'll be fine. It'll, be, it'll still seal up just fine. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that gap down here as it should be, which it's about where it should be there. 
and then I'm going to clamp it clamp this together you can see here I've got a little bit of this is true at the top here I'm a little proud there on my inside gusset but that's fine once we're done we can trim that together but you can see here the curve is pretty true all the way down uh, it matches up pretty well I've got my quarter inch gap so that all matches right so now I know this piece is in the right location all right so the next step will be to take the gusset that we cut out a while ago and make it fit into place you'll remember that we took the gusset and we took the bottom and we notched it out to fit the floor so it should basically fit or set into place right now now another important part here is that you want the top of this to be flush you want all of this to be flush or slightly proud of meaning above the rest you'll see that that center spacer is a little proud that's okay we can trim that off you also you want this gusset you don't want it to hit the back wall here you see I have a little bit of space there no more than a quarter of an inch or so because we're gonna have to attach a spar across there and that spar needs to be about a quarter inch from here so I actually had to trim that off to make that fit but as it sits right now it's not touching so that means it's not going to jam into place here when we go to shut the hatch but as that sits right there we're going to take and stick a clamp on it and clamp it into place uh, we got a clamp right here on top we're going to clamp that into place because all of that looks like it's all you'll see there it's all lined up all right and then we'll come down here and everything should if we're lucky if we know what we're doing it should fit into place and it does all of this is nice and smooth across here so basically what that means is, is that we've got the outside hatch end piece we've got the seal piece here and we've got the gusset and they all three are sitting in the same plane across the trailer this way um, this piece is a little proud but that's okay that's the piece I cut we can trim that off with the belt sander when we're done but as this sits right now um, I don't see any reason why anything here should jam or not fit so we're gonna take this piece as one unit as it's clamped if everything looks good the other thing you want to make sure is that you're over here that you've maintained your approximately 16th inch gap which we have there all right so here we have the hatch piece after we have glued it and screwed it you'll see here I've got screws about every eight or ten inches all the way down have to kind of space that out see what works for you but that that seems to me like that holds it well I just used a good amount of tight bond too to glue the gusset to the top hatch seal and the top hatch seal to the end piece now you also notice here that I've got this thing clamped in place I've got some pieces here that are holding this all flush and I've also got some spacers over here this is why you put in the larger top seal piece that's three quarters of an inch wide now between your bottom seal and your gusset you have an eighth inch space and I'll, you'll see right there you have that space that's important you wouldn't want these things tight uh, if you just used a half inch piece then the half inch piece is going to sit tight to the other half inch piece and you wouldn't have any any movement there there's going to be a little bit of movement in the hatch as it closes so you need a little bit of clearance there and the way you know that you've got the space right, if you look right here, you'll see that this, that the seal piece down below is sitting in the center of this piece here with about an eighth inch gap on either side. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So that when this whole thing comes to lift up, there will be clearance like I mentioned before but everything seems to be sitting right you can see our piece on the bottom there is sitting on the bottom if we have to trim that off for some reason we can still do that after we get the hatch assembled 
Same thing up here. This piece is just, just barely cleared there. If we had to trim that down a little bit more, we could. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this piece here is finished. You can also see that our 16th inch gap runs all the way down. And that, that is with, to move it a little bit, that's with this piece sitting pretty flush to the top of the original profile right here. So that's it for this. Um, basically you take this whole thing and you replicate it onto the other end, which I have already started. And then you will have those two pieces complete and you will be ready to put the spars in. So that's it for now. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I'll try to do the best I can to answer those. Also, hit that subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up button as both of those help me to continue to produce these videos. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>